Hey, what's up guys? D-Rod here. Gonna do a quick little video. I've seen a few questions from these new guys that are just starting to stripe in regards to paint boxes, brush boxes, stuff like that. So this video is just to show you newer guys kind of how I set my stuff up. Everybody has their own way. You know, there's no right or wrong way, but this is just the way I like to set up. It's real quick and easy to, to set up and tear down. It's really cheap. It's really not expensive. It's like 30, 40 bucks. But it holds all my stuff, you know, I don't really need much more than, than this. So I'm going to go ahead, turn the camera around, that way you guys can see my setup. You can see here, this is my handy dandy striper's kit. And it holds all, all my necessities that I need for whenever I'm on a job or I'm at a show, bike rally, whatever. And it's pretty compact and believe it or not, it, it really holds a lot of stuff. I'm going to go ahead, open it up and show you guys what's inside and how I organize all my stuff. There's a ton of options out there for you to choose from, but as I mentioned before, this is the way I like to set up and it's easy for me. This top section opens up just like this. I'm gonna set this over here, open her up. Oh, here's my little, my cotton glove. My grid, this is what I use to just get my center line. A couple rags, this is my dirty rag. So my clean rag, this is what I use to prep the the panels with, the bike, whatever. Right here I have my palette. It's a little tiny little notebook palette. Next, you can see I have all my all my bottles in here. I like to tip them every day. So today they're right side up. Tomorrow I'll flip them over upside down just to keep the, the paint from gumming up in there, in the bottles. These bottles are P-E-T-E -E bottles and I think I got these from SKS Bottle Company or something like that. If you look up SKS Bottle online, these should pop up. I think these are the 16 ounce bottles because I, I go through a lot of paint. In here I have my little cup holder. I put a, a Dixie cup in this side. And then I'll put some mineral spirits right here on this side and just attach it to my little, my little palette. It's got a little clip on there. So I'll have my paint my mineral spirits or my thinner whatever I'm using and I just pal it away. I have my bottle of mineral oil. I have a little cup holder in here for my Dixie cups. In here I got two mason jars. One is lacquer thinner or um, I'll use turpentine and this other one is mineral spirits. Alright so in this middle section this is where I keep my brushes and my pencils and stuff like that. Just small stuff. Um, you could use it for much more I'm sure. But for me, this is just right. Um, and I have my clothespins right here, a pencil sharpener. For this section, I keep all my pencils, my pens. In these compartments, so I'll have razor blades here. I have little sanding discs and stuff. Uh, on this right side, I have all my smaller brushes, all my swords, my swords, my scrollers. Um, I have a bunch of Kafka brushes in there. On the left side, I keep my, my quills, my liners, all my my lettering brushes and uh, just my bigger, longer brushes, you know? That way they're not all mixed up and I'm not searching for them. So it makes it real easy to, to keep things organized. So this next section is the bottom section. So we can go ahead and take this off. And underneath here is where I have all my bigger items. It holds two gallons of cleaner solution, whatever you guys use to clean your brushes. There's a gallon of lacquer thinner. There's a gallon of mineral spirits. A little bottle of alcohol for prepping or cleaning up uh, my hands or whatever. There's a little deal of, uh, of size whenever I'm doing leaf. A little roll of paper towels. You just cut it in half and it fits in there real nice. A few rolls of tape, different size tape. A um, deal of uh, reducer for house of color whenever I'm using that paint. Just some scissors and a uh, screwdriver. You never know when you're, you're going to need them. So that's about it for this bottom section. Like I said, you guys can fit more stuff or less stuff. For me, this is what I like to use. I'd rather have more stuff than not enough. So that's why I, I kind of like to keep the gallons of, of um, chemicals in there in case I have to refill my little mason jars that you guys saw. Um, we're going to move on to my next box. So this next box is pretty much my my junk box. All it holds is just my extra paints, you know, whenever I'm at a rally or a show and I'm doing a lot of vehicles, a lot of bikes, I always have um, extra paint to refill my bottles. You know, I have extra rags in here, dirty rags. All my leaf, here's my rolled leaf, 
my booklets of leaf, some extra tape. It's pretty much just a bunch of extra paint here. I've got some white, my house of color enamels here. That's why I have the, the reducer in that other box. Here's my, my care cards. I've got business cards in here. And that's a, it, it really comes in handy having all this extra stuff. You know, a lot of people think that this is way too much stuff, but for me, this is just right. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. This was more for the newer guys, of course. Yeah, if you guys have any questions or concerns, anything, if I forgot to mention anything, please let me know. Like I said, that thing is it's really cheap, like 30, 40 bucks. At, I think I got it at Lowe's, actually. Home Depot, I know they have the, the Fat Max. The, the, it's a lot bigger than that one, I think. There's so many options out there. Find what's going to work for you, whether you're using bottles, whether you're using cans. There's tons of options that you can choose from. I hope this helps and you guys have a good one. See you later.